So new composition, in this case, yes, HDTV, zoom back to see my whole frame. I will create a new solid. I can choose a color for my solid. <clears throat> 400 pixels by 400 pixels square. That's my square. I now have a square into my timeline and I will command D five times. One, two, three, four, five. I now have six layers which are the six sides of a square. I select them all. I open the cube for 3D and select A for anchor point. And I'm going to move my view from active camera to custom view 1. So I'm on the side here. And I'm going to move these away from the anchor point. You see, I'm moving away, quite, quite some away here. But I'm going to move away for 100 pixels because there are 200 pixels so that's the center of a cube and now I will press R for rotation and I will deselect by pressing the gray anywhere and start moving my square bits all around that circle So I will just rewind a little bit. I will put them at 200 pixels, R for rotation, and start turning them around. Yeah, it's 200 because that's their size. So at the first one I will put at 90 degree. The second one on the y-axis, I will continue the circle to 180. And then I'll go down again, lower, and still on the y-axis, I will go a full circle almost at 270. And now I have the top and bottom left to do. So I will use the x rotation and do the top layer at 90 degree and do the bottom layer at minus 90 degree. Now I have a square, a cubic square. Select all layers and close them. And I'm going to pre-compose, so layer Precompose cube and put my 3D on again and collapse here. Collapse the infinite rasterizing button on. And so now if I rotate this cube, I have a perfect cubic shape to which I can add texture, light. Let's put a new light. It's going to be a spotlight at 90. Now I can move this light and start seeing the effect of the light on the cube as I'm moving in and out and in Z space and I'm going to put another ambient light so select spotlight from ambient at maybe 50 and there now when I rotate this cube, I have a three-dimensional shape. I can add color to it, texture, 
and I can duplicate this cube so I have now two cubes if I press rotation on both cubes then I've got rotating dual cubes and so on and so forth I can put as many as I want and that is the simple way to create three-dimensional cubic shapes in After Effects.